Yeah, what's going on, YouTube? Back at it again. You know how it is. Anyway, I did an all over review for these fucking clutches, and I'll do it again. Now, <clears throat> these clutches, okay, they're probably the best of the best that you could fucking get, but a few things. The keyway ones, those are for the 5 8 fucking shaft, because this will no longer fit my fucking motorized bicycle for the four stroke so I had to take this off and take the whole fucking clutch assembly apart which was a pain in the ass and the only way to get this to fuck apart okay because when this is together it looks like this this is how it comes from the factory Okay. And then you get <clears throat> springs like this that holds the top piece on. Okay. And the other spring goes to the bottom behind this plate. Okay. And then at the factory, they put this stupid thing on here. Like this. And then they take like a MIG weld or some shit and they. Ch 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 well, I took an angle grinder to it, took this fucking plate off, took the clutch out, I got. took the good pads off, because these are all the burnt ones. Okay. And I had to make a clutch like this. This is also a burnt one, but the new one. But the fucking pads that were on this one, the keyway shaft, it's on the fucking motor. And what's weird is that this doesn't move now. It's supposed to be freewheeling, it doesn't move. That's how good the clutch is grabbing. This is now a direct drive. So when you go to pedal this fucking bike, okay? You gotta pedal it down the hill or coast it and then pull the pole start and take it off choke. The motherfucker goes even faster now. And it's like J Rod said, uh if they would fucking make these clutches that goes behind this fucking gearbox, okay, and attaches to the engine, if they would have made it to where there's a spring here, okay, and then there's a spring here, and then inside where these stretch out like this, there's some kind of return spring pulling them back as soon as you get out get off the throttle and the clutch retracts. That's what these do. You give it throttle, it's fucking spinning, and then fuck it, when it gets to the high RPMs, this shit opens up. But the problem is when these fucking springs get hot, okay? They fucking snap. And once they snap, fucking, it no longer is getting the fucking the RPMs that you need. But I noticed something though, but when I took these springs off, okay, you gotta adjust this screw, this screw, and this screw so that they lock in the lock position. And then it becomes a direct fucking drive, which is fucking weird. So that's what I did. I used an angle grinder. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can tell I used one because look. There's a nick there, there's a nick there, and there's a nick there. Now I could make a, um, I could give this to somebody who wants to make a fucking, um, one of them direct. Uh, direct fucking CVT transmissions, but you would have to put like some weld or something in there and block a keyway or something, and then this would be like a direct drive for your fucking clutch or a CVT transmission belt drive or whatever. These parts are probably 
gonna like throw in the garbage, but I'll keep the fucking springs. Yeah. Anyway, little update. I'm still working on the Phantom. I still didn't get it together yet, but I got some parts that are coming in the fucking mail. Um, I'm not gonna say what the fuck they are yet, because, um, everybody's gonna to assume shit and say that I bought this, I bought that, or whatever. It's a little something something I bought in the fucking mail. Yep. And I can't wait. So I'll keep you posted on that. Bye.